time for the gold medal match. Qualification tournament in Antalya, Turkey. World number two, Mete Gazos from Turkey, takes on the world number 26, Jean Maladon of France. Representing Turkey, Mete Gazos. On target number two. The line judge for this match is Clement Cesar. Well, here we go. This is the last match of this continental qualification tournament. It's the Rico Men's Gold Final. 21-year-old Turkish archer on target number one will shoot first, and that is Mete Gajos. He is the world number two. Goes up against the 32-year-old Frenchman on target number two, Jean-Charles Valadon, who is the world number 26. Gajos has been calmness personified throughout this tournament. Jean-Charles Valadon has battled the demons to get himself to this final, but they're both here, and they're both looking for six set points. Nine. Great response from Valadon. Good start from him. Yeah, I think the main pressure for both these <laughs> archers has gone. They've both gained <laughs> spots for their countries. Um, but who's going to win? Who wants it more now? Eight or nine. Well, marked as an eight for a measure. And this can be put out of reach with a, a ten, potentially. Hey! Right now. <laughs> needs a 10 here and then needs the measure to go in his favour. Nikki, did you get a feel for that 8? Is it an 8 or is it a 9? I think it's probably an 8. That would be my call. Right. Or immaterial now. Uh, 29 from Mete Gajos cannot be reached by Jean Charles Valdor, even if the arrow is promoted from an 8 to a 9. So the first two set points to him. Quick shooting, calm, no drama. World number two, Mete Gajos looking in control. Yeah, he's a great archer, isn't he? And he's come back really, really strong here. I think he struggled a little bit getting back into it this year, but. You know, he's still on that stage, improved his spot, brought it home for Turkey. Certainly has. And look at those flags at the end on the left-hand side of the range. Just both drooped down now, not really blowing around. So, well, that's <laughs> nothing that can be predicted here on this range. It's the winds change from arrow to arrow. Uh, but at the moment, it's looking favourable for these archers to be shooting at some high scores. has had his battles Nick has been talking about a release and where the hand goes on the release he's battled with that he knows what's going on as a former Olympian he'll shoot first can he battle the demons and get himself back into this one That was better. He knew it. The first one was a little bit slow again, sort of a two-part release, I'm going to call it. 
that one he knew was better. Um, okay, they both went low right, so maybe now he's adjusted his sight. Grouping for a 27, not bad. Uh, so he probably does need to adjust his sight. Uh, but some wiggle room here for Gajos, and nine is enough to go 4 0 up. Uh, a nine's not enough for Mete Gajos. Another 29 for him, two in a row, and he's four set points to nil up. Look, it's very easy to get sucked into the fact that you just expect these guys to shoot high scores. It, we really mustn't because. Gazos is making this look very, very easy. I'm not talking about the match, I'm talking about the process of shooting two consecutive 29s. But it is miraculous. It's at the highest level of sportsmanship. Yeah, 70 metres, that tends the size of a CD, but he's standing there on home soil, he's comfortable, he's won his spot, he's done his job today, the weather conditions are perfect now. Why not shoot 10 every time? He can do it, we know he can. So he's just showing the world how good he is. But the, I think the part of the key for me is that, look, clearly they're all athletes, but it's the mental discipline to go through that routine. And yes, I take all the caveats, the job's done today, the weather's good and all that kind of stuff, but this is still a gold medal match. He's still up against a few former Olympian, he's not been to the Olympics himself, he's on the rise, he's the world number two, he's, you know, it is incredible mental discipline to go through that process so consistently, as we've seen from the more experienced Valadon, who's struggling and battling with his process. We go into the third set, and Jean-Charles Valadon sees himself 4-0 down. Don't write him off just yet, though. Nine. Not the prettiest of shots, are they? His, his release is sort of ending halfway through his neck at the moment. He knows it, and he's just got to try and make them you know, better, powerful, and keep his back tension. Nice. Tell you what, if he's shooting badly and you get a silver medal in Tokyo, he's not going to be that bothered, I don't think. Better. That, did you see the flow of that one? It went around the neck. Better. X. But it's just a ticking time bomb. If you're not shooting well like that, you know that it could go really badly. Yeah. So mentally, it's not a good place to be, and you want to shoot good shots. And that's why this mental fortitude from Gavis is so impressive. He has not missed the yellow in this match. He has been quite phenomenal. Pressure here. Valadon needs a good arrow. Nine. 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 It's actually not bad shooting at all, uh, especially where he's going. But look, an opportunity for Mete Gajos to do this in nine arrows. Needs a ten. Gets the ten he needs. And he's done it in style here on home soil. Nicky Hunt, you said he's doing this in front of his delegation. He's doing this in front of uh, the dignitaries here at uh, a very, very famous site for archery, especially in Turkey. He's done it in nine hours. Superb performance. What better time to show the world you're on form and you're the best. You know, 49 days to go to the Olympics. His trademark win sign there and yeah what confidence he's going to take from this yeah brilliant he hasn't really shown any emotion at all until that uh, special sign that he does uh, that i've seen before it's great to see it back again uh, it's actually great uh, despite having the mental turmoil that jean charles valadon must have gone through it was great to see him battle through that and get to uh, the, the final and we think we're pretty sure now that He's actually snatched that uh, French place as well from uh, the rising star, Thomas Shiro, who's going to have to wait, OK, not four years, but three years to have another shot at the Olympic Games and on home soil. Yeah, just showing his experience and, um, you know, some archers have issues and they work through them. And, you know, he's a world-class competitor. He's a silver Olympic medalist. And, you know, he's probably now just booked his ticket to go back and have another go. Yeah, fabulous to, uh, to, to watch a, a professional who's clearly not fully in sync 
battle his way through, a real gritty performance, and even able to afford himself a smile. Uh, I think I think that's a bit of a hint that maybe he has nicked that space from the heartbroken Thomas Shiro. But Mete Gazos today has been a phenomenon. So cool, so calm, so collected. If he can do that in just a few weeks' time in Tokyo, he is going to be a contender. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> 